Okay, Darren, bestautodetailingtips.com, detailing made simple. What we are going to talk about today is bug removal. Now, any detailer will tell you uh, there is no, or actually any detailer with experience will tell you there is no magic fix. There's no magic chemical that you can just spray on the front end of a car and the bugs just magically dissolve and you hose it away. I don't care what product you have purchased or that you've looked at, and I don't care what it says on the labeling, but it just does not exist. Now granted, I've not tried everything on the market, but I've tried plenty of them. But I do have what I have concluded over the past 20 plus years of what actually will work and cut to the chase. Once again, get you from point A to point B quicker. Uh, faster, better results, less effort, you know the drill. So let's go in for a zoom and I'm going to show you the front end of this Range Rover. Uh, I take care of this thing regularly. I have done so since day one. It's approximately two years old. Uh, my customer uses it to travel up and down the coast. They've got a uh, big piece of property up in, let's say, just Central California just for generalizations point is is every time they come back down here to Southern California they have brought half the bugs that exist here with them and they're all plastered on the front end of their car so let's go in for a zoom shot okay let's go in for a close-up and hopefully based on the angle I'm at we can see a plethora of bugs dead bugs how's that for the word of the day plethora and for all those that don't know what that word means it just means simplified many 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 types and as we look around the headlamps everywhere it is just I don't know if you can hear this but just doing this actually some bugs chip off it is very extensive this is very time consuming, especially on this car, because we've got all this grill work here. We've got all this grill work here, so the bugs get in all these intricate areas. And when it comes to detailing, it is all about the details. So it's kind of like doing engines or a lot of areas of car, cars, is that you become fixated, hyper-focused, on the obvious as a detailer and you step back and you think oh yeah I nailed it and then suddenly you you look back and you're like oh wow what about this part back here so it's kind of an endless wormhole that you can work yourself down and it's obviously going to be case by case based on what detailing means to you um, and your expectations of your customer or you as a car owner so everywhere we look We've got bug guts. And it reminds me of a joke. What's the first thing on a bug's mind as it hits the front end of your car? Their butt. And if you don't get that joke, I'm not going to bother explain it because it's not really that funny anyways. Anyhow, I'm not sure how much of this is showing up, but the whole windshield, any leading face of this car is plastered with bugs. Bug guts. Now, contrary to popular opinion, you can actually hear it. I'm assuming it's going to show up or the sound will come up on the video. But all that noise is bug guts. Anyhow, as I said at the beginning, there is no mag magical fix. There is no chemical that you can put on the bug, spray it, let it saturate or dwell hose it off in like a couple minutes and have them just magically come off. It's just not realistic. So I'm going to show you what I do and break it down into stages so that you end up with a completed uh, car that ha that is now bug free. And of course, like everything else, I'm going to approach it in a very systematic. Okay, as I said, I'm going to approach everything with a systematic approach. Now, once again, there is no magic solution. So the point is, is there is no magic fix. It's just going to take some 
elbow grease, and it will take some form of water. So you can either douse the front end. Um, as far as letting it soak, I have found that mostly that's kind of a waste of time, especially as a mobile detailer. We've got to worry about the elements and water drying and water spotting up if you're not using deionized water. So I don't really uh, hose it down and let it soak for five minutes or whatever, thinking that it's going to start breaking it down. Because water is a natural solvent. It does break things down. Unless you're a living plant, for most things, water is not good. If I had to pick a product, it would be my all-purpose cleaner from Meguiar's. You could, if you wanted to, in fact, I've actually already done a little bit of bug removal here. Um, and when I'm working, I'm going to do it section by section. And because this car has so many bugs on it, if I wanted to use a product, my all-purpose cleaner, I will simply hose it, get it wet, and then this is the magic part, if you want to call it that, is a microfiber pad or towel of some sort. Because of the nature of how these are made, thousands, hundreds of thousands of little fibers that are far superior than like a terry cloth towel, to me, this is the magic trick with bug removal. I prefer this little pad here. That saying, more is better, and we've all been trained to want to get more for our money, more is always better, that whole deal. Well, like everywhere else in life, eventually more becomes not better. So if you have a pad, like this really is about as big as I would go. If you have a microfiber, um, like one of those chenille type of wash mitts, they become so heavy with the water that they just become cumbersome to work with. And now you're fighting against the inertia and the weight of the water and you're slinging water everywhere because you can't contain it. So you want to pick the winning size. Any one of these uh, tools will work. Generally, I'm going to grab this little tool here because I know I'm going to have to break it down section by section. Check my results. This is already wet. And I just start at the top and I work my way down. You can either start at the top and go all the way across or you can start at the top and break it down section by section. So you start up here, you rinse, check your results, and move on. That way it's a very systematic approach, and when you're done, you're not going jumping back and forth going, oh, I missed there, oh, I missed here, oh, I missed there. So you systematically break it down however works for you. So you can sit here to scrub, very aggressively because the bugs will require you to be rather aggressive with it. So that's the good news with one of these, it will not damage the paint. Now on this intricate type of detailing, you may have to grab your wheel brush, a toothbrush, or maybe even one of your detail brushes that normally are reserved for the interior and get it wet and get inside here and really detail this out. Once again, it's all based on the type of results that you're after. Okay, a couple things. Um, I'm almost done with the bug removal on the front end of this car. Now, a couple things I want to mention. Um, first off is because I shoot on location. There's no pre-written script. It's just on the fly. I see an opportunity. I go with it. Uh, if I think that there's something that I can teach you guys, I'm just going to use the opportunity as it presents itself. Hence, bug removal. Okay, so a couple tips uh, because I think this is going. I'm going to edit the, edit this so this is the new conclusion to kind of wrap things up for you. First off, there's no magic uh, liquid that you're going to be able to spray on and just dissolve the bugs. It just doesn't exist. I don't care what the label says. Yes, you will need some water if you need some type of solution, cleaner, whatever, I recommend my all-purpose, it's not mine, but Meguiar's, it's the one I use, all-purpose cleaner. As I referenced at the beginning, the power of suggestion, because I know what's gonna happen with a lot of you is that you'll maybe come back from a trip. It could be your RV, your truck, your car, SUV, whatever, and you're gonna think, well, I'll just add more soap to my wash bucket and more soap and more suds is gonna mean better results. Well, that's the power of suggestion. It's a mental game we play with ourselves. 
It's very effective marketing and advertising use it all the time. So the point I'm trying to illustrate is that there's no magical solution. But if you need to and you just want to feel better about the moment uh, because you think the bugs are overly greasy and you need some kind of cleaner to make your uh, efforts effective, then fine, use an all-purpose cleaner like this one or whatever you want. But the point is, is what I have found is that the magical winning combination is a microfiber cloth of some kind. Like I said, I, I picked out three different cloths or pads. Once they get too big, they become too cumbersome to work with. You can use a microfiber cloth. I actually use this one. It allows me to get into the details very well. Now, because when you wash a car, there's always going to be extra heavy-duty stuff that's still stuck to the car. So, because I'm working outdoors and I don't want the water to dry, once this has been washed and now I'm doing the bug removal, I'll just do section by section as I mentioned. But for example, I keep two cloths. They're both wet, they're both damp. They're not saturated, it's where they're just dripping. So I can, like this section has not been done as far as the bugs. I can simply work on each bug, each section in a systematic approach and then wipe, check results and move on. That way I'm not getting the water sitting there and I'm not constantly um, trying to juggle one section of the car drying and going back and forth and driving myself crazy. One of the last things I want to mention is details. For example, around the emblems. How do you get around the emblems? I don't recommend using a toothbrush because that will scratch up the paint. So you're just going to have to wad one of these up and literally go section by section, letter by letter and work around it. And that's what's cool about these claws versus like traditional terry cloth towel. If you're going to sit here and rub and rub and rub, you will abrade the paint. The microfiber is safe. So that's why I do not, even though this has more of a bite to it, and you may think, oh, that will be more effective. The reality is, is this is more effective. Trust me on this. Try it yourself. You'll, I think you will be pleasantly surprised. The last and concluding thing has to do with detail because that is the topic we're talking about is details and it's all about the details. So the point is, is when you are trying to check your results, check your work, you need to look at it through different or from different angles. So for example, if I'm looking at this Range Rover from this angle, it looks bug free and looks basically perfect. But suddenly when I get down here, and I've already checked this myself, is suddenly this lip under here will be revealed. And for example, if you have your customer that you think as a detailer, you're checking your results, but you're standing four feet from the vehicle. Well, guess what? What if your customer is approaching their vehicle from 20, 30, 50 feet away? Well, guess what? certain parts of that vehicle will be exposed that you have not been able to see at four, at a four foot distance. So that's why you need to constantly check yourself. So as I pointed out at the beginning, like for example, this grill, okay, look back in here. You may miss this at the beginning, so you need to crouch down and you need to get at viewing angle because everything Every time you move positions, it will change what you see. The lighting will change things. It will reveal things or it will hide things. You never know. That's why you constantly have to move around and double check your work. If you go further underneath here, all the way underneath, you've got this little shrouding plastic piece. It's like, how many guys would miss that? You know why? Because they're looking at the results from here instead of going down here and looking even deeper, uh, working their way further down the rabbit hole, as I like to say. So that's why I say you need to gain different perspectives, look at it from different angles, upwards, 
downwards, side to side, up close, and from a distance because you want your customer to be happy and you want to deliver superior results. Okay, hopefully I've covered everything. We'll see how the editing goes. Till next time, we'll see you on the other side. Detailing made simple. Okay, I thought I'd take you around for the finished results because I forget to do this. We have our completed product, our Range Rover Autobiography Edition. A couple of highlights. Actually, I meant to, well, there's our detailed out wheel wells and our detailed out wheels. I did mean to drive this so it would lose that layer of rust that is natural uh, when you get the rotors wet. But anyhow, we have basically perfection. No more bugs, and we are good to go. So till next time.